the soldiers buried at Fort George Wright made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. To better understand the story of one such soldier, PFC James Clompton, it is necessary to go back to the year 1951. The 2nd Infantry Division had been through hell. In mid-February, 2,600 men of the division, with their French allies, surrounded and cut off from reinforcement, had fought off an attack by 25,000 Communist Chinese troops. Known as the Gettysburg of Korea, the battle put a halt to the seemingly unstoppable North Korean Chinese advance. That May, following a string of engagements and fighting retreats, the 2nd Division found itself encamped near the village of Chan Ni, near a hill called 1051. Chinese forces attacked in force, nearly overwhelming the tired soldiers of the 2nd. Still they held the hill. Air reconnaissance sent a message to the men, saying they could not see the end of the enemy line. The morning of the 17th, some of the men witnessed some F-80 fighter jets overhead. Believing them friendly, they took no precautions. As one soldier remembered, I saw flashes from the lead jet's cannon. He was firing on us. The cannon shells were hitting all around us. My buddy dived into a foxhole with our cooking fire. I went in the foxhole on top of him. The jets went over our position again. The whole mountain seemed to be on fire. The second had been napalmed by their own aircraft. The event would be remembered as the May Massacre. By the 20th, James Francis Clopton and many others had fallen in battle. Their sacrifice enabled a counterattack that would retake the losses of that day and bring about the stalemate along the 38th parallel that would last the remainder of the war. This is just one of the stories of the brave men and women buried here, a reminder of the courage shown by normal citizens who take up their country's cause.